Hello, sports fans. It's still um, April 1st, 2011, and I already gave you my epiphany about the um, the powers to be, the bankers, etc., 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 trying to democratize the rest of the world so they can exploit it. I know I sound like a raving socialist or communist or something. Um, I don't know what you'd call it, except for the fact that we are in a, um, a big pyramid game and our economy is totally the bankers can't really suck too much out of us at this point before a revolution so why not cause a revolution someplace else so you can suck the blood from the uh, the other people um, I want to talk about Obama's um, driving force to eliminate uh, tax deductions for donations. Now, we've heard a lot about NPR and they're trying to plant the guilt trip on us that the government's trying to kill them uh, because they're trying to take away uh, these uh, right-wing uh, Republicans are trying to take away funding from NPR. Yet NPR doesn't really seem to be saying anything about the fact that Obama wants to take away donations, the tax, the tax um, deduction from donations to causes, nonprofits. Um, this should be major news, because NPR only gets 10 percent of its money from the uh, the federal government, which which means 80, 90 percent of it comes uh, from donations. Maybe the other 10 percent comes from the state. I don't know, but the bulk. Of their donations come uh, are both bulk of their revenues are from um, donations some large corporations who want a certain slant on the story give them a lot of money so it's really not um, unbiased journalism I mean sometimes they do take some some pot shots and expose certain bad things about some of the corporations that sponsor them but they never take a big I don't think they really go for the throat. They have to do something to, to prove how um, independent they are and to, conf and to confuse us into thinking that they're non-partial. But if 90% or 80% of their money comes from um, donations, why wouldn't they be concerned about the fact that Mr. Obama, Chairman Obama, wants to take away the tax deduction from people uh, who have the means to make a difference on not only the NPR but different um, organizations. It seems very interesting that the government feels that they're better able to spend your money. The driving force is that they want you, they want to tax all of your money, and they don't want to have you have the power or feel empowered to spend money uh, to make a difference on, um, I have to change this chair. Um, to say to donate money to causes uh, which they might not, not necessarily agree with and that's a pretty um, what should I say that's a pretty serious um, statement that um, we all know that of course the government knows how to spend your money better than they do even though um, like in the state of New Jersey they had a a senior citizen program and 50 cents on the dollar that was allocated towards the senior citizen program went to administration okay and uh, no one seems to be troubled with that so what do you think uh, the amount of administration costs are for any program here you are you're saying okay I'm gonna give a hundred thousand dollars to this church or I'm gonna give hundred thousand dollars to that or fifty thousand or twenty thousand to uh, helping the seeing eye dogs or whatever and it's really not gonna cost me all that money because some of it will I'll get a, I'll get a tax deduction on some of it uh, but the government doesn't want you to have the ability to be feel empowered and then of course this all you know gets into the the inheritance situation where the government really doesn't want you to inherit anything because the bankers want you broke you see the only good banking customer is someone who runs up tremendous credit card debt at usurious rates and has the ability to pay that back. Now this whole banking crisis took place because they tried to create as much debt as they could 
on people who could pay it back, but it turned out that they couldn't pay it back. Uh, so it wasn't a matter of, of home ownership. You know, you know, when you talk about return on investment, these these places that they were buying, I mean, the the payout on these things was in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, so, you know, the payback, quote, payback, it's that wasn't an investment in something. Um, they just wanted to run up humongous interest debt. Um, in fact, the whole, I, I'm convinced that the whole building standards, the um, BOCA or whatever it is, the uh, standards that they're making more and more, they're making houses more and more expensive to build for different codes. By the time you, by the time you go through all the environmental this and that, and plans and engineers and architects and impact studies, you're, you're just totally driving up the cost of a house. I mean, in the old days, the American dream was someone would come over here and they'd build a, have a foundation built, and they'd put a, a, a roof over the, uh, well, just a ceiling over the basement covered with tar paper, finish that out, and then they, they would frame on top, and eventually, while they're living in the place and not paying any rent to anybody, um, they were building their house, and they didn't even need a bank. They could do it based upon what they made every week. But, you know, the bankers don't want that. That's dangerous. The bankers want you in debt. The mandatory health insurance, they want you to spend as much money as you can so you need the banks um, to, um, so that you have to go into debt. They want to strip you of every extra penny you have uh, with everything. And therefore, you live, you die, you pay your taxes, and if you're a good citizen, you'll die off before the average age. And um, like I said, it's we are number 40th or number 50th. Do you remember that in longevity? And that's not what I'm just saying. That's what the CIA is saying. If you go to, I think, CIA.org org, and look up uh, average uh, lifespans, uh, you, there's several sources you can do this if you really give a damn. I know you, if m most of you people are in denial uh, that... Uh, there's 40 or 50 other countries where they live longer than us. I mean, Canada is a very interesting example where everybody's telling us how terrible their their um, medical plan is up there. Yes, it's free, but you can't get access to it. you got to wait six months for this test, you know, eight months for that test. you got to wait six or eight months or a year for an operation. And yet they still live two years longer than us. And that's... Um, you know, these are people who, things are so bad that people actually come down here for that operation to save their lives. So I'm sure it's not that operation that's saving their lives that is, that is bringing their average lifespan up because we have access to these operations here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 360 day, 365 days a year, and they're living 2 years longer than us. In fact, in every case, uh, the countries that are ahead of us spend about half or less, quarter or half, third of what we spend uh, for health care, and they still live longer than us. So what is, that, what is that telling you? What is that telling you about our FDA and the USDA and the crap that they put in our food? And now they're starting to talk about the artificial dyes making kids hyper. Screw hyper. Uh, you know, a, a, high, a diet of hot dogs increases the chance of, lymphatic, chance of lymphatic cancer. All these goddamn pesticides people spray in their houses for bugs. They're worried about a few bugs, and the kids are coming down with the leukemia. Um, you know, th these kids today are coming down with the weirdest cancers that are, that are unbelievable. No one's, no one's questioning it, um, and, and hence we have this thing, uh, Obama, you know, care, which is an affront to my... Uh, my constitution, my constitutional rights, and the way I want to live and the way I want to die. Um, but anyhow, the um, I think it's kind of interesting, like I said, that Obama wants to take away a deductibility of the um, donations. And I think they're trying to take away the deductions on uh, uh, your taxes for your house, deductions of... Um, I guess the insur the interest on your house. Um, they definitely want to take away the advantage of home ownership over that of uh, renting. Um, typically, most people who have rentals, the, um, the rentals kind of cover their expenses, and they're hoping that the appreciation of the house 
is where they're going to make their profits. At least that's what I've seen in the past. Now, the value of these houses has dropped down so that the, um, uh, the, uh, the whole formula as to why they bought this house in the first place um, is, is shot through the roof. Um, so anyhow, I um, would like you to, to ask yourself why do they want to take away our ability to make a difference and why NPR, uh, whose executives are making you know, 400000 plus a year and they, and they want you to continue paying that, uh, your, your taxes to help fund it, I think it's BS until these NPR people get in the spirit of giving and cut their, their salaries down to something, uh, maybe like a congressman or something, um, that we should tell them to go stick it because they don't seem to care about our ability to make donations. And if they were really concerned about donations, uh, being that the bulk of their income is from donations, you'd think they'd, they would understand that if Obama succeeds in taking away uh, these donations um, as a tax as something that's tax deductible, uh, N NPR is really going to take a, a hit. But then again, Obama has a, a tendency to have exemptions. There's like a thousand companies that have exemptions that they don't have to provide health care for their, uh, their people, and their people don't have to have health care. And yet I have to get health care. doesn't matter how much I have invested, how much I have in the bank. It's deemed that I'm, I'm guilty. I'm, I'm guilty. Um, I'm guilty. And I'm not presumed innocent until proven guilty. I am guilty that I'm going to go down to a, um, a, a hospital and not be able to pay them what I have to pay them if I choose to go to the hospital and choose to get treatment. Um, that's, what they, um, they, that's what they're doing to me. Maybe that doesn't bother you. But I want to spend my money on healthy food. And if I, choose, if I get seriously ill and I have something really serious i have to make a decision whether i'm going to go for treatment and spend my money or i'm just going to uh, live out whatever i have and in, in the best way i want to live i want to get on a cruise and spend out my my bucks on a cruise and drop dead or whatever i want to do that's up to me if i want to if i want to give my money to my kids uh, and um and uh, basically terminate my life early that's that's my decision but the the obama plan wants to take that away from me they want me just to pay money for insurance policy for treatments that 90% of them I would not use. And um, that's the way that is. So NPR, you're a bunch of fake, phony frauds as to your real intent. Your real intent is very biased. You should be saying something about these, this tax deduction exclusion. If, in fact, you know firsthand that you're going to be excluded from it, and that you, anything given to you will be tax deductible, but anything given to anything, anybody else will not be tax deductible. I guess Obama will just say, you know, anything given to Acorn will be tax deductible. Uh, anything given to one of his causes will be tax deductible, one of his exclusions. And everything that most of America feels is just and right and moral will not be allowed. So that's the story with the uh, proposed... Elimination of tax deductions. And um, once again, I want you all to stay, stay healthy. So eat a lot of greens, fresh greens that don't have insecticides and herbicides on them. All right? Do that, and you'll be doing yourself a favor and keeping the price of uh, our medicine down. Bye-bye.